Hi, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome back to another video tutorial. This will be the first in a new video series that I'm producing on MariaDB. For those of you who don't know, MariaDB is a commercially developed and supported fork of the MySQL Relational Database Management System. It's intended to remain free and open source software under the new general public license. Development is led by some of the original developers of MySQL who forked it due to concerns over MySQL's acquisition by Oracle Corporation back in 2009. In this first MariaDB video, we're going to learn how to download and install the database management system. So let's get right to it. So let's open up your browser and we'll search for MariaDB download. this one and we'll download the current version which is 10.5.5. We have a number of selections over here on the right hand side of the page which will allow us to narrow down. So I'm going to pick a 64-bit Windows and I'm going to pick the uh, MSI installer version. So we'll click on that. It will take a moment and download. Once it's downloaded, we'll open it up and begin the installation process. So let's open it up in the downloads folder. We'll right click and choose install and the setup wizard begins. Let's click on the next button. We will accept the terms of the license agreement and again click next. We'll click next one more time and now we have to choose a new password for the root user of the database. So I'm going to pick a new password and for ease of use I'm just going to use the word password for the password. This is not something that's recommended in a production system of course and I think that goes without saying. We're going to choose use UTF-8 as the server's default character set so we don't have to choose it all the time. That will be the default. Click Next. We're going to install MariaDB as a service and it's going to be accessed through port 3306. So let's click Next and click Install. And that will take a couple of minutes and once that's done, we'll move on to validating that the installation was successful. So MariaDB has finished installing. Let's click on the Finish button. And now we'll open up a command window. We're going to change our directory to the installation directory, which is under Program Files in MariaDB 10.5. There we have all of the install folders and files. We're going to change to the bin folder, which is where we'll find a MySQL program, which allows us to access the database. So we're going to log in using the root user that we set up during the installation. So MySQL minus U space root minus P and that will prompt us for the password once we hit the enter key. So let's hit enter and we'll type in the password that we set up during the install process, which is the word password. Click enter and as you see, we're successfully connected to the server. And let's have a look to see the databases that are currently created on the server. As part of the install, there should be a test database created. To show the databases, we'll simply say show databases. And every command ends with a semicolon. So hit enter and there you see the test database. We'll also right click on our taskbar and start up the task manager. And let's look in the services tab and we'll go down to the M and you'll see that MariaDB has been installed as a service and is currently running on the Windows system. Now this means that when we reboot our system, the database server will be started automatically. We don't have to do any separate tasks in order to, uh, to start up MariaDB. So we've successfully installed MariaDB. 
We will also need a JDBC connector that will allow us to connect to the MariaDB database from our Java programs, and we'll see how to do that in the next video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the thumbs up button to like the video. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel to view more MariaDB videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and until next time, stay safe and keep on coding.